Umbrella Academy Season 2 comes out this Friday, and if you haven't yet, you should probably take the day off from work because, yeah, Season 2 is even better than 1. Find out why right now. Let's go, everybody. Welcome back to a brand new Netflix review. Today, I'm going to be going over Umbrella Academy Season 2. Now, do not be worried. I will not be diving into any spoilers. This is a full non-spoiler review, but I am very excited to talk about this show in the comments section down below in the comments with you guys. So make sure to comment down below. Let me know your guys' thoughts. Do you guys love the first season? Do you guys Are you guys super excited for the second season? Or have you already watched the second season? Let's talk about it all down there, as well as hit that like and subscribe button if you guys enjoy content like this. I love talking movies. I love talking TV. And in general, I just love being a geek and if you guys want to be a geek with me hit that like and subscribe button the end of the first season of the umbrella academy we saw our family teleporting to a place unknown and now knowing that they are in dallas texas in the 1960s well yeah they might have escaped one apocalypse but with disrupting the timeline, they might have started another one. It's up to them to stop it. Really, nonetheless, this is a comic book that I've never been versed in. I still really need to dive into these. But that first season was such a delight. I had such a big smile on my face. It was so entertaining. And it was one of the few shows that I sat there and binged in one sitting. But season two is the same way. I sat down, turned it on, and could not stop watching this season from the opening episode alone to the very last one there was moments where i was laughing there was moments with a big smile on my face there were even moments where i had tears in my eyes but overall i was just in shock and awe at a majority of this show and really something i want to really tie into is it seems like they took all the elements from the first season and elevated it to that next level and it really feels like they finally got to do it they could go a little bit risque they could go a little bit different and with such a diverse cast in here you could actually open that up to display certain themes from the 60s and it just adds to in such a delightful and amazing way so i'm ready to say season two of umbrella academy is better than the first season in so many different ways one of the big ways is that in the first season i felt like they focused they had this big group of characters but they only focused on certain ones here and there and it seemed like a lot of the characters didn't get all the light that they should but and I really emphasize this. Not a lot of shows can do this. Many shows that have these giant team-ups or even movies don't find a way to really give every single person the spotlight and really even their own stories do seem that they matter for the ending of the season. This show in particular actually did it in such a great way. Every single character in here, even going down to Ben's character, I was really interested to see what they could do with him. They give him a lot more to do. They give every single character in here something to do in each and every one of their plot lines, character arcs, and thematics that they go through are very very important. Again, that's something I really want to emphasize here enough is how great of a job the directors, the writers, everyone involved in creating the show did with these characters was being able to give each and every one of them a substantial amount of screen time that really filled for the whole entire story and its purpose. Just like in the first season, we see this family working together in some way, shape, and form. And, you know, one of my favorite things from that first season was that flashback of seeing them actually work as a team when they wore this crime fighting organization. In season two, we get more of that. We get to see them actually working together. Even took elements from Watchmen and the Avengers. And while yes, it's not directly like those because it does do the Umbrella Academy thing and spin it on its head and completely change it up. But it gave me themes of those. And it, again, they just really dived into everything so well. And that family dynamic is just so great. The best thing about this character is that every single character, someone's going to be able to relate to. Someone's going to be able to feel for them. And that first season really did that well I knew which character I really much related to this season I could relate to almost every single person maybe a character I thought in the first season was kind of much of a dick this one you see more from him and they really kind of start to feel as this dysfunctional family that even by the end of the season I went oh my god that's how we're gonna end it I need this next season, season three, right now, and you're going to be the exact same way. Season two keeps you on the edge the whole entire time. Twists and turns, shocking moments. One moment in particular had my jaw hanging on the floor, and another one in particular actually had me in tears. A show can get me that invested, that shows a lot of emphasis because I, you know, when I watch TV, I got to be really sucked in to get that much in love with it. And this season did it all for me and more. Going back to all the character moments that I already talked about, how every single character got such a great amount of screen time. Three in particular that I absolutely loved was Ben, Diego, and Allison. I felt that those three got such a strong suited stuff in here that really dived into their characters even more. And that doesn't go anything against the other cast in here because every single one of them really had a moment 
important to stand out and really substantial stuff that adds to the plot but those three in particular I really loved. I really want to give a shout out to Diego because I felt the first season he was an interesting character but there wasn't a lot going about him. This one they dive into it a lot more. One of the new characters that joins Diego and again our whole cast and crew on this adventure is Ridu Arya. Oh my god. From the very first scene she's introduced, she already has this eccentric chemistry and charisma that gleams and glows off the screen. And where she ends up going in the show is absolutely in such a fascinating way. In some jaw-dropping ways as well. And again, adds to the twist and the turns. Not just in particular her character, but everything that goes about in Diego's storyline and everyone else's is just, again, so great. One of the things that the first season did so well was intersecting music and placing it into the right scene. Maybe, you know, in a movie per se, you can be like, oh, this kind of seems like a music video trailer, you know, a la Suicide Squad, but they do it so well in here that it just seems so seamless and adds to the tone and the wackiness that the Umbrella Academy truly is. While I'm not discussing spoilers here, I can't wait to talk about this season with other people once you guys finally get to see it because, ah, uh, the way it ended once again, I was just like, no, I don't want to wait another year and a half or so for the next season of Umbrella Academy. Of course, guys, before I get to my final thoughts on Umbrella Academy season two, make sure to comment down below again. Let me know your guys' thoughts. Who's your favorite character? Who's your favorite Umbrella Academy? Who do you relate to? Let's discuss it as well as hit that like and subscribe button so you don't miss it on content like this over here on a daily basis head on over to sandwich on films on how to see films early and of course just a big thank you to you and a big thank you to my patreon supporters because without you i wouldn't be able to do this Rel academy season two doesn't just elevate and go above and beyond what the first season did it does it in so much more actually gravitating this show to be one of the best comic book shows ever made and i'm ready to say that because this show just doubled down on the characters, gave every single person a plot line that was important to the story and made you care about them. Characters that maybe you didn't care about in the first season, you're going to relate to a lot more in here. Newcomers, you're going to really start to love. And honestly, some of the twists and turns in here and even shocking moments, you're going to be like, oh my God. God, how did I not see that coming? And there are going to be even moments where you end up crying. Yes, I teared up at one particular moment. I went, oh my God, it's making me do it. Of course, the season ends in a way that you're just like, I, I need the next season like right now. Music was great. The action set pieces are great. The twists and turns, the shocking moments, the character development, the family development, everything with this show was great. And the diverse cast in here really adds to a lot of the themes that happened in the 1960s. And I didn't even really dive into that. We're in the 60s, one of my favorite time periods to venture into. And they do it in such a grand fashion that not many movies or shows can absolutely do it. Again, dives into themes and messages that would affect these diverse casts that we have during during these time periods that really speak volumes of stuff that is going around in our time period today. So all that said, I'm going to give Umbrella Academy Season 2 an A+. I absolutely loved Season 2, every single moment of it. I was in shock and awe, and I cannot wait to rewatch this season all over again like I did with the first season right when I was done with watching it. So guys, thank you guys again so much for clicking on this. Hit that like and subscribe on, on your way out. I can't wait to talk more geeky stuff with you guys in the future. And of course, until next time, stay classy. Thank you.